what's going on guys welcome back to another episode of the road to glory series and today's episode 37 on my channel and we start off by opening up quite a few bronze packs we have managed to reach 100,000 coins um which is incredible because this is a road to glory account where we haven't spent any money on the game and we've managed to earn well earn over 100,000 coins and from matches i think we've earned about 120,000 coins but as you can see our actual coin total in our so-called bank at the moment is 100,000 um, but then I started opening up a, a few packs uh, just because we did manage to reach that and I just wanted to get to there before I spent the coins and then I decided to go open up quite a lot of these bronze packs because we had the coins there's bronze team seasons in packs and I didn't really know what else to do with our coins apart from possibly buy some players but um, I did decide to open up a lot of packs and while the packs are opening I just like to say a massive, massive thank you for all the support. Um, we reached 300 subs only a couple of days ago, and I haven't been doing YouTube for long. I think I've been doing it for. I restarted my channel I think two months ago, and we've already managed to get to 300 subs, which is incredible. Uh, so I just like to say thank you for that, and um, I will be bringing out. Um, the shout out series as a weekly series now on every Sunday just because the amount of support shown on the first episode on Sunday last week was incredible um, I thought I'd just you know start it um, as a series because I would rather help um, other people out um, in getting their channels noticed because it, it, I just find it helpful um, for them but I also I, I don't know I just kind of like doing it um, it just feels good to help other people out but as you saw there we did manage to open up the pack and we got basically the entire pack was available to sell we had players basically the entire pack was players and then we had a couple of squad training cards and we had two things in that pack which we couldn't sell but besides from that we didn't really get anything in our packs so the packs were kind of um, kind of a waste of money but I will try and sell as many of these bronze players as I possibly can to try and get um, the coins back. Seeing as they were 1500 per pack, um, kind of need to get those coins back because it's quite a lot of coins to just be spending. And then in that pack there, you do see we managed to get Akin Fenwa, who does sell for about 2000 coins. So we made our profit back on that one pack alone, and we also got coins in that pack. So that was a very nice pack. And I wasn't expecting to pack Akin Fenwa, I completely forgot about him. Um, so when we did pack him, I was like, oh, okay, we just got Akin Fenwa, he can sell for a little bit, and he did, he sold for 2,000 coins, but you can see on the screen now, I'm literally just um, clearing out the trade pile, because um, there's quite a few players in there that don't sell, and then quite a few players, or quite a few things in there that do, and I'm trying my best to try and sell everything, um, some things just don't, and some things do, um, but you see here, I, the Saudi Arabian players, they will start to sell because there is a Saudi Arabian League uh, team season at the moment with a tournament and also this German keeper there he did sell instantly for the price to list him up for because of the Bundesliga tournament and besides from that the packs were kind of bland so wasn't really anything to like shout about there wasn't any team seasons unlike there was in the most consistent um, but that is what I did in the first half of the episode and um, there wasn't, I, w I really wasn't sure what to do um, because we've gone into Division 3 now and we've got some coins, we've got, we've opened up some packs, we've entered the draft a few times and then I thought, let's go back into Division. So I went into Division 3 and I played a game, I don't have the footage of it, it, um, it, it, kind of, it worked but then um, it kind of like glitched out a bit and I didn't really want to put that into the video because it was really buggy. But you see there, we did lose 2-1, really frustrating game, to be honest. we I say this basically all the time, but I really didn't think we deserved to lose the game, but we did. But then we go into a second game, and you guys do get to see this one. He, we basically come up against a team almost identical to ours, but basically stronger than ours. Carlos Fair, Benzema, Conor Plianka, Rakitic, Isco, Cruz, Alba, PK, Godin, Dani Alves, and Bravo in goal. And things started off really poorly for us, and this opponent was incredibly sweaty. I, I, probably the sweatiest player I've ever played on FIFA, to be honest. Every time he got through on goal, he would sweat the ball. He wouldn't just take a shot on. As you saw there, he did manage to get one-on-one -on -one with my keeper, basically, and then he sweat it. So I did it to him. I um, 
and passed it back. I didn't really sweat to be honest. I just passed it into the back of the um, into the middle of the box and then scored to make it 1-1. And it, it it kind of um, you see right here. I get a red card. I don't know why. I got the ball, and then his Benzema basically tripped up over him um, while he was lying on the floor. Benzema basically like stood on top of him and fell over, and I got a red card for that. So I don't know why. And then he took advantage of that, got through, sweat it across again as as he does for every shot he takes, and scores, making it two one. And I didn't want to lose this guy just because he was such a sweaty player. And we did manage to make it two two near post with Carlos Vera. Um, leveling the game back up and after this goal things started to go our way and then just after scoring that we got through again lovely turn from Conor Plianka and then finish into the near post making it 3-2 putting us now into the lead and obviously I just I just don't want to lose another game I know this is the second game in division three um, so we have got a while but we do break through again uh, started to lag a bit, but we did manage to cross it in because his keeper he, he brought his keeper out, so we do cross it in, make it 4 2, and um, now in a very strong position. But unfortunately, uh, my opponent does go through and actually scores a goal that's not a sweaty for once, so he does manage to score there, making it 4 3. Um, and after he scored that, he kind of my team started to fall apart, and you see there he got really, really cocky, started doing skill moves, um, not even hard skill moves, they were just. Um, it was just roulettes, and that's all he did. He managed to score, making it 4-4, and then he sweat again right at the end. Obviously, an all-out attack because it was Godin who put that away, made it 5-4, and felt incredibly good about himself. But, you know, we'll let him have that um, because at the end of the day, it's a game. So we did lose again, and then I thought, let's go into the draft. We haven't gone into the draft for a while. Let's go into it. I know I'm not playing the best FIFA at the moment, but let's try and make a good team and see if we can get somewhere. And instead of going for chemistry, I just went for the best players in their positions. And um, this draft was incredible. We got Bale, then a team of the season, Raphael. Next next pick wasn't incredible, so I did take the Bala. Next pick um, was team of the year, Alves. Um, then we got 95 team of the season, Aguero. Then Dembele's team of the season. And I was trying, I was going to try and pick as many team of the seasons as I possibly could. And here there was... Um, um, Bellerin that I did take and then Muller popped up in the centre forward position and then left wing I did get 98 Ronaldo next midfield I did get two team of the seasons I did take the four um, just because uh, oh no I didn't yeah I took a Gundogan that's it so the forward then popped up again so we could have had uh, two midfielders in there that were team of the season but I didn't um, then I did take the next one which was another team of the season um, and already there's an obscene amount of team of season and then we got that lion card which is incredible it just it's an it's an amazing card i really want to use it on ultimate team so that's why i took it and um then in the center backs didn't really get anyone so i took naldo next pick was godin's 89 rated and then goalkeeper was patricio's team of the season and sorry about um the footage being a bit laggy this is kind of like what it was happening in the first game and i didn't want to put it in because it was just not very uh enjoyable to watch so i did take it out um but i left this in because it is the draft and then we got another team of the season and then we got rubbish um i oh know we didn't get another team of the season we got an inform but we didn't get anything else for quite a while but we did end up with um a very low chem team, a very high rated team, but um, the, the uh, players in each position were incredible. So that's kind of like why I did it, because I wanted to take the best players possible instead of just trying to go for chemistry. So I did do that and we do end up taking Costa. And I, um, I fiddled around with the T for a bit, tried to get like the most chemistry possible and it took a while to try and find out which was the best one but we did end up with 11 team of the seasons in our team which means if we put all of our team of seasons in to the team we would have an entire team of the season starting 11 which is incredible and i don't know what the record is for how many team of seasons people have in their team but i know for a fact that 11 is pretty high so that's something to uh, be happy about uh, the team's strong i'll play the games in the next episode 
um, and hopefully try and get out of the first round. But that's the team of our draft. We didn't do very well in divisions, but this is going to be the end of the video, guys. I hope you have enjoyed. I hope you are enjoying the series. Thank you for the support over the past few weeks. Um, hit the like button if you have enjoyed today's video. Subscribe to the channel if you are new around here. And check out G2A in the description below for cheap MSP PSN codes. And remember to um, check out the shout out video if you want to be in a chance for winning the shout out but for that's it basically for today i hope you enjoyed have a nice day goodbye